everyone. So today I am on a video filming roll and I decided I would go ahead and do my fall accessories. What am I trying to say? It was a, it's a haul video, but I'm also going to give you a lot of tips on um, styling things for fall, which I think is just the easiest season to dress for. I'll show you some of my new things. I got um, some things from Bobble Bar, a lot of really good things from Bobble Bar. Um, a new handbag, some shoes, some sunglasses, which is very rare for me. You guys know that I don't purchase sunglasses very often. And a really, really awesome jacket. So, like I said, fall to me is, it's a lot of people, it's like, they would say it's their favorite, you know, season or whatever. I love fall. I really do. But one of the reasons is just because it's just so, I always get so relieved when it rolls around because it's so easy to dress for. Or like in summer, you can throw on like an easy dress or something, but I think in fall you can really put more like, you can put better outfits together and it's just easy. Not just because there's more pieces, like different layers, but to me it is so much easier. Um, my whole philosophy, it's very simple. It's what I say every year, I feel like whenever I do a fall, video and I don't feel like it's rocket science. I don't think that fall fashion videos should be so like, you know, to me it is so freaking easy. There's like nothing to even really explain. Like seriously, just get you some plain tops, like really good basics, whether they're t-shirts, whatever they are, tank tops, just really easy basics. This is just a little splendid tank that is actually a maternity tank, but it's just a little nice tank by Splendid. And you can throw on like jackets, cardigans, anything. This is a fairly plain one. This is a Wendy Bellissimo one um, for destination maternity, but it's, there's nothing maternity about it. Like when I'm not pregnant, I can still wear it. Pair your jackets with those basics. Just simple denim, don't go crazy. And then you can put on like some really awesome like boots, heels, whatever you wanna do, however you're feeling. And then you can really sort of like layer and dress it up and make it like, like give it some character with some statement pieces like jewelry or a big fun scarf or a big like cozy scarf or you know, your handbag or something like that. So. To me, it's just, you can use all of your like basics from summer, like your t-shirts and things. And just, you know, as long as you've got a couple of good jackets and some, you know, a couple of like cardigans, you can really make so many different outfits by investing in like some affordable jewelry and um, some different like scarves and things. So I'm gonna show you the things that I got. Uh, first off, I will show you the things that I got when I went shopping a few weeks ago. Um, you may have, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this. I do not buy sunglasses ever, very, <laughs> very often at all, really. Um, I have three pairs that I really like. I think that you should, I, I just, I think if that's your thing and you like sunglasses, that's awesome because I'm like that with certain things too where I buy different things. But like for me, I like to have really nice ones. I have three pairs that I really like. They're all different. Like I have a good pair of aviators. I have some blue ones, those big Chanel ones that are kind of, you know, they're, they're colorful. They're, they're blue, so they're a little different. Um, and then I have like an everyday just really nice pair that is uh, my Tom Ford big black ones that I can just wear with anything. And I've really been wanting a good pair of cat eyes because mine that I have are a little tight on my face. They're my House of Harlow, really kind of older ones. And so I think I'm just gonna give them away or do something, I don't know. But I really wanted a good pair of big cat eye sunglasses and that's hard to find for me because I have a very like wide face and a long face. It's just weird, like I have a big head. Like. like I just have a big head. And sunglasses are really hard to find that work with my face. Like my friend can try on some that are meant to be oversized and they look good. And then when I put them on, they're like beady, you know, like they're teeny tiny. Um, so I found these at Tory Burch. It's a funny story. I should have shown you the shoes first because my shoes are from Tory Burch that I'm going to show. But um, I bought the shoes and on the way out I saw these and I was like, I have to get these. Like I've never really fallen in love with Tory Burch sunglasses. I never get excited about sunglasses period, really, um, but they look like this. They're really cool cat eye big sunglasses. They're tortoise, which I love. They've got these two pretty gold details, which I thought was really unique. Um, the sides aren't flashy. They remind me of my Tom Ford ones that just have like the simple bar on the sides. And it does have a tiny Tory Burch logo, but nothing crazy. And they look like this. So. To me, I just thought they were perfect. I didn't have a pair of tortoise ones that I liked. I didn't have a pair of cat eye-ish ones that I really liked. But, um, so they're a little, they're fun. I think that they're just really, really cool for fall. And 
Something else that was really exciting was how they were packaged. They were in this cool, they were, well, the price, they were 165, which is expensive, but not anything crazy. Like some sunglasses get so crazy expensive. And I, I mean, my Tom Ford and my Chanel ones were pretty expensive, but you know, I wear them all the time. But anyways, they come in these little thing with like the little Tory Burch, a little pouch. You can use that to sort of clean them too. But then this was really cool. I was really impressed with this. It's a little Safiano leather um, orange, which I love this color orange um, sunglass case. And um, I just thought this alone was really, really special. So um, a good purchase. They feel really nicely made and I'm so excited. We're going on a, a little baby moon vacay soon. So I cannot wait to bring those. I'm really excited about bringing those. The shoes that I got are pretty special. You may have seen, again, if you follow me on Instagram or you've seen me talk about them before, I think, but my uh, Steve Madden eccentric or eccentric, whatever, they're those typical, like, you know, these are my sneakers that I got, but they're shaped like that, you know, and they're the leopard ones. Well, I had always wanted a black pair like this and I considered getting the Steve Madden ones, but they just, for some reason, were really stiff. They weren't as comfortable. And my leopard ones are fair, they're comfortable, they're nice. But after wearing these, they're just nowhere near the comfort of these. And Target even had a pair that were like quilted faux leather and they felt so stiff on my feet. I just thought I'm not paying for these even though they're fairly cheap and I'll be saving some money. Um, I'd rather splurge a little and get some that I'll actually wear and that will last me year after year that, will, that I'll feel good when I wear them. So I got these that are Tory Burch. And they were, they were, I think they were like 125 they ended up being, which wasn't bad. I think that's how much they were. I'm pretty sure they were that much. I don't remember exactly, but they're, they look like this. <laughs> They've got the little Tory Burch logo, which I don't really care. I mean, I would have been fine without that, but they're not super flashy, so that's okay. Um, softest, most comfortable shoes. I got a nine and a half, which is my true size. They run very true to size. I have wide feet and they work really, really well. They are just the most comfortable shoes and I have worn them twice so far and have just really, really enjoyed them. So I would say for fall, a good pair of sneakers like this. I usually live in boots and stuff in fall, but um, I do like having a nice pair of sneakers that I can put on. And then one more thing that I bought that day, and then I'll show you my bubble bar stuff, and then my jacket. I've got a really, really good jacket to show you guys. When we were shopping, I had been wanting a Chanel wallet on a chain for a long time. When I shop or when I go out or whatever, a lot of times I don't like to carry giant bags because over time or when I'm shopping, they, they hurt my back. Or like if you're carrying a lot of things or if you're going to be gone for a long time, it just carrying a big heavy purse sometimes is just a bit much. Uh, for long periods of time. And plus, I really, really love the feel of like my Louis Vuitton Eva clutch, you know, uh, which is brown. It's the Damier or whatever, the little print. And then I've also got a Balenciaga one that is crossbody that's black. So I knew I had a black one. I wanted to do something a little different and I just, I love the feel of a lighter crossbody bag. And I loved the idea of a Chanel wallet on a chain. So I wasn't sure which ones they would even have in stock. I had no idea. And she was like, oh, we have a hot pink one. And I was thinking, hot pink, no, but I knew I wanted something different, whether it was a little, I even thought of getting like a gray. That was what was originally on my mind. I knew I did not want black, but I didn't even think I'd be able to find one that day because it's just based on whatever they have in stock, you know, and sometimes you just have to wait. But when she showed me this one, I was like, okay, that's, that's perfect. It is um, patent, but it's sort of like, you can see the grain of the letter, leather under it, so it doesn't look like vinyl or like fake or weird. And I believe this one's from that Chanel uh, Paris, Dallas, or Dal whatever it was, collection. This was the last one that they had, which I think that collection wasn't even, I mean, it was fairly recent. I don't think it was like super recent, but they don't have um, any more of these. You may be able to find one, but um, Chanel's just kind of all over the place, just depending on which boutiques have different, or which stores have, or boutiques have different things. But I love how it's got the the ruthenium hardware, which is like the, that's what they call it. It's um, sort of like a gunmetal-ish, like aged silver. It makes it look more, I would say, like you can wear it anytime. Like it gives it a little edgier of a, of a feel. And I love how the chain looks with that too. So um, I'm just super, super happy with it. This color isn't like hot pink. It's like, I would say, it's called dark pink is what the tag said. Even though the girl said it was hot pink, it like freaked me out. I just wanted to see the size of it. And when she brought it out, I was like, okay, that's it. Um, 
It hits about right there. My sweatpants when we, when we leave, I'll put on my pants. I'm like that. I just, I can't sit around in jeans, um, especially now. But, uh, so it hits me about right there. I am pregnant, so it might be a little bit longer when I'm not, not super, you know, that's the big difference. But it's a good size. It just is perfect. I just love the way that it looks. It holds much more than you would think, especially if you're used to big handbags. I like it because even when I carry like my smaller other bags that I mentioned, I still have to carry something for a wallet like within them. And this is truly, it's what it's called. It's a wallet on a chain. So it's got like all kinds of little compartments. Um, it's got a big compartment that has six credit card slots. It's got a zippered compartment. And then it's got two different um, open, but tighter compartments and then this compartment where the credit cards are and stuff you can see how wide it is I mean you can put money in or um, makeup in there you can put your phone and I can put my keys in there and I still have room to spare so it's a good good bag and I can see myself I can see myself getting kind of obsessed with these I'm already thinking like ooh, what other color would I like but I'm trying not to think those thoughts because they are dangerous this one is just perfect because it's the color is perfect for fall or for spring or summer. I mean, it's just not something that looks seasonal or, you know what I mean? Really obsessed with this. I just can't say enough good things about this bag and I'm really excited about it. And it's just easy for fall. You know, you can just throw it on. It's not so huge. It just works. Bobble bar stuff. This necklace. Gosh, my bra keeps peeping out. This was... Something that I really knew I wanted, so this was like the first thing I put in my cart. And it reminds me sort of of that giant other one that I have, the big bib chain necklace that's sort of an aged bronze. This one is more of a gunmetal, and it's got like, let's see, a little lock is under here too. It's got like a little lock, it's got um, this cool little blingy jeweled piece, and just tons of like little chains, and it's just very like layered, and kind of tough looking, it's fun. It's kind of like feminine at the same time. It just, I, I love sort of mixing those types of elements. I went ahead and unwrapped the stuff because bobble bar wrapping can get nuts <laughs> and it takes forever to unwrap it. Um, I got these little earrings. I believe they're called the Zen studs and I got them in um, gray and then it's got the gold around them. But I just thought they were so pretty because I love, I'm all about stud earrings, especially when you wear big necklaces or scarves or whatever. I just love stud earrings. This is so, so pretty. I think this was like the second thing that I put in my cart. It is a longer necklace that has like these horizontal bars. I'm gonna cut these off, I hate these little things. I can see why they do it, obviously, but it's just kind of hard to see. And then it's got a little um, fringe, so let me show you what it would look like. Isn't that pretty? Like, I just thought that was so, so nice. So really excited about that. I love their little necklaces that are made for layering because I believe they're all pretty much gold plated. So it gives them the look that they're that they're still really nice, you know, but um, but they're cheap, they're inexpensive. So all of mine have held up really well that I've had from Bobble Bar, which is good, and I've worn the heck out of a lot of them. Um, so this one I thought was pretty because it is a horizontal or a vertical bar rather than some of mine that are horizontal you know I just haven't seen one like that and I just thought it was really pretty so that's just a simple little layering piece and then a lot of these necklaces that are like the really chunky jeweled statement necklaces um, I think to keep them from looking to or to keep them looking a little more like fresh and you know a little more current for fall I really like ones that look a little more like tough or that have like some layering to them or I just I thought this one was pretty because the hardware was more like aged looking but it's more of like a teal blue and amber colored little combo and it's one necklace but it's like two different things so it'll be up higher but you can kind of see how that'll lay so really pretty I just thought that was really nice and those were all the things that I got and then what's funny is that Bobble Bar sent me a package on the same day that I got my shipment and it was this giant necklace and I was like oh my goodness this is nuts you may have seen this in my um 
pregnancy vlog. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is huge, this is crazy. But I kinda like it. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, but it's really cool. Like when you wear it right at the edge of a top like that, or you can see that video to see how I wore it a little better, but oh my gosh, it's really cool. I could see doing this with like, if you had like a plain dress that was like more form-fitting or just like one of those just basic dresses or something that was just solid color and putting this with it, it would just make it look so awesome or just you know again like basic tops basic thing I just I love pairing things like that with it so I feel like I scored with about bobble bar I got some really really cool things I've got to show you that jacket because it is like it's the coolest so for a while now I've been looking for a black leather jacket that had like a more relaxed collar I've got this gorgeous moto jacket that I've worn for years and I will always I mean it's just a different look but um, but I've been wanting one that looked more like this, that had like that relaxed collar. I got this from Target. It was, I believe, $39. And what made me fall in love with it was obviously the collar. But I like how it had like the, um, the cloth or the fabric detail. And then um, I liked how the, um, the zippers were. It wasn't too crazy looking. I'll show you what it looks like on. Like I said, you can just put these jackets on like with anything. Um, I mean, this is the plainest tank. I could even just be wearing like a tank even plainer than this, just a white, you know, nothing. And um, and this would look amazing. So, but I, every time I put it on, I just love it because it's so comfortable because the sleeves have the leather, what up, you know, fake leather. But it's got a panel going on the inside, like on the underside of your arm, all the way down the side of the stretchy, thick fabric, the same looking fabric that's on here. And although this, the collar one is backed with the leather, so you can't like, I got a small, they're very true to size. I mean, this one, honestly, I'm pregnant and I can stretch it around me, so that's always good. So I'll show you what it looks like. It's just beautiful. I'm just really excited about it. And see, like, even though I'm pregnant, like, my look hasn't really changed. It's pretty easy. You know, you just put on a maternity tank or a maternity top, throw on a jacket, and you're good to go. Uh, when it gets really cold, I could put on, like, a bigger coat or something. But um, I just love this look. I just think this is just the best jacket for the money. I am really excited. I would definitely say to check these out. If I can find them online at Target, I will. Sometimes it can be a little tough to find the exact things online from Target if... They're fairly new in the store. Sometimes they're not online, but um, oh, I just love this. So um, I would definitely recommend this. And you could wear this so many ways. You could put it on like with a dress. You could put it on with a big scarf. That's just what fall is all about. Just mixing and matching. You can really do so much with very few pieces. So that's what I love about it. But that is it for my little fall accessories haul slash ball fashion video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it and um, like I said I will find as much of this as I can. I, I, sh I should be able to find most of this, the bobble bar stuff, because I know I didn't go through and like tell you exactly what it was. That would have taken up so much time. Uh, but I will put it below so that you can see it and find things if you want to. So um, I hope that you guys have had a wonderful week or when am I going to post this? Weekend. <laughs> uh, but I hope that y'all are doing really well and I will talk to you all very very soon. Bye.